On 2 November 2014, a suicide bombing took place at Wagga border following the daily border ceremony in Pakistan. The attack was claimed by three rival militant groups. On the midnight of 9 January 2015, the FIA team led by special agents reportedly hunted and killed the mastermind of the attack in a police encounter which took place in Lahore. The Pakistan government officials confirmed the veracity of the reports. Background A daily ceremonial closing of the border between India and Pakistan takes place at the Wagga border with tourists sitting on the respective sides of the border observing. Warning According to an unnamed official, the American and Pakistan intelligence communities had prior knowledge of such attack and had been alerted about the mode of a possible attack at the Wagga border. They were informed about a missing young boy who might be used as a would-be suicide bomber. The commissioner police captain Armin Weintz said the SID police had conveyed a threat about possible suicide attack to the rangers at Wagga, border on 1 November. Bombing the bomb blast occurred outside a restaurant in a parking area near a Pakistani paramilitary soldier's checkpoint. Up to 25 kilograms of explosive material was used in the blast. Footage showed destroyed shops and nearby buildings at the site of the blast. Preliminary reports regarding the nature of the explosion had suggested that a gas cylinder exploded. Later on, Director General Rangers Punjab Khan Tahir Khan confirmed that the explosion was a suicide blast saying that the parade venue is about 600 meters ahead of the blast site. Because of the strict checking the suicide bomber detonated the bomb away from the parade venue. The bomber was said to have detonated his explosives as close to the security checkpoint as possible seeing as he would be unable to cross into the stands where more people were seated. Security personnel conducted a search operation in the areas adjoining the Wagga border crossing near Lahore. They recovered a large quantity of explosives and suicide vests which were diffused. After intelligence agencies received information regarding the presence of a suspicious person in the area, at least 60 people were killed and over 100 people were injured. The Punjab government declared a state of emergency in all the public sector hospitals in Lahore. Victims included 10 women and 8 children. Eight people from one family were also killed in the blast. Responsibility and motive. Responsibility for the bomb blast was claimed separately by the outlawed Jundala and Tariq I Taliban Pakistan affiliated Jamaat al Araya. TTP spokesman Ahmed Marwat said via telephone that the attack was a reaction to operations RBAZB and Wazaristan military operations. The Jamaat al Araya splinter group of the band TTP claimed responsibility for the attack as its spokesman Esan Ullah Esan, speaking to Dawn on telephone from Afghanistan, said it was carried out by one of their men. Some other groups have claimed responsibility of this attack, but these claims are baseless. We will soon release the video of this attack. This attack is revenge for the killing of innocent people in North Waziristan, the militant group's spokesman said. Pakistan's intelligence community quickly identified the mastermind of the attack and determined the attack planned by the Ruhala, a senior terrorist operative of the TTP Lahore chapter. Alleged bomber, a spokesman for the militant group Jamaat al Araya, Esan al Esan, released details and photo of a man they claim carried out the suicide bombing. He told Dawn, com that 25 year old Hanif al alias Hamza carried out the attack. Manhunt by FIA. Since the attack took place, the FIA and other law enforcement agencies had been on a massive manhunt for the mastermind of the attack, Rahullah. On a midnight of the 9th of January 2015, the special agents of FIA's counter-terrorism wing, aided by the Punjab police, raided a house in Lahore. After a two-hour-long gun battle, Rahullah was reportedly gunned down in a deadly police encounter, along with his three associates. Reactions
India Prime Minister Narendra Modi condemned the bombing. Terror attack in Pakistan near Wagga border is shocking. I strongly condemn such a dastardly act of terrorism, Modi said on his Twitter account. My condolences to the families of the deceased. Prayers with the injured. Quote, the Indian government also called for the suspension of the daily closing festivities for at least three days. Dot. United States Ambassador to Pakistan Richard Olson said, On behalf of the American people, I extend my heartfelt sympathies and condolences to the families of the victims as well as to the government and people of Pakistan. We support Pakistan's efforts to bring all those involved in planning and executing this attack to justice and stand ready to provide any appropriate assistance to authorities investigating this tragic attack. Quote. United Nations United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki moon condemned the suicide attack on November 3rd. UN spokesman Stefan Dujaric said, The Secretary General condemns in the strongest terms the terrorist attack that took place yesterday on the Pakistani side of the Wagga border, crossing with India. Such terrorist acts are not justifiable under any circumstances. The Secretary General urges the Pakistani authorities to bring those responsible to justice.